If you need something to happen before or after the tests are run, you will use the setup and teardown functions. Let's go to the first example and copy it. Actually, let me create a new folder. Okay, I must create this initialize database and clear city database. I'll emulate a database here. Okay, it will be just an array in memory. Okay, let's see what happens. Set up and tear down. Okay, it fails. Oh, it's missing the ECD function. And it works. If I comment this initialize and this before each and after each, let's see what happens. Okay, it fails because it is empty. And the before each, it runs before every task and the after each runs after every task. Let's make an example here. So here I'm expecting that it has only two CDs. Let's see what happens. It passes because I'm clearing the database, but if I omit this, you can see that the real value is six because it is calling this initialize database and creating these CDs over and over again until I have the test. So let me clear, keep this clear CD database. We can also use a synchronous code inside the before each or the or the after each, just like we can use on the test. We can pass a done callback or we can just return a promise. In in our case, I will just return a promise. Okay, I forgot to resolve the promise. So it will fill with the timeout here probably. Okay, timeout. So let's test now with the resolve. And it works. Just like we have the before each, we can have the before all that runs before all the tasks of that scope. So let me copy this and paste it here. Actually, this won't have much value here because it's in the same scope. Let me copy this.
so here if I comment this actually let me copy this assertion that it has only two cities and even if I comment this clear database because it will run once before all tests this will be true it will only create two cities so let me test it and it works you can group tests together with a describe block so let me copy this Okay, city is initializing the city database, and here it has initialized food database. So I'll have to change it a little bit. So the name of the city will be Vienna. Okay, this is a very poor implementation, but it will work. And we have another method is valid city food pair. Okay, it works fine, but if I, because it is this before each is scoped to this describe, if I try to run this Vienna with, with sausage, let me do the test. And it won't work because the database isn't initialized at that moment. Actually, the foods aren't initialized at that moment. Okay, in this log we can see the order of execution of those functions. So the first will be the before all that's inside the that's outside the describe that's on the scope of the file. Then the before each that's on scope of the file, and then it will run the test, and then it will run the after each. Okay, so the after all, it will wait for all the tasks to be com completed, included the describe inside the scope. So probably, okay, the after all here. Oh, and the, and the before each also executes, also is valid for the, for inside the, this, this describe scope, because this scope is larger and this scope includes the describe. 
So first the before each of the scope of the file and then the before each of the scope of the describe block. Okay, here it's saying that you must use the, the before all, before each, etc. and after all, after each and, and not just put the code inside the describe block because the code inside the describe it is executed before it executes the, the real test. So let me copy this and run and see what happens. Okay, so it runs first this describe out A, then it goes to describe inner one, and you can see here that it goes directly to this one. And also, the most important, this should be like this would probably be the intention of using the bef after all, and you can see here that it runs before any of the tests are run. So here it's saying that when you use the only method, it will run only the test that you use the only. So when a test fails, it's useful to see if the test fails even if you run only this test. So if a test behaves differently when it runs alone and when it runs with other tests, that might be a problem with the state and you should clear the state and reset the state on the before each or before all. So let's test this. Okay, so in this case it skips, I mean it skips only the test from this file, not all the files. And of course this will be wrong even if you set the only and if you don't set the only to it will also cause an error. But let's make some tests here. Okay, it fails here because second test specs the global variable to be A, but it's set to B. But if I run the only, it passes, and that's a clear problem with the setup and, and teardown. Pro 